Hi folks, HR Funk here. I'm going to be demonstrating how to attach a model 1907 military sling to a rifle. If you're not familiar with the 1907 sling, it was originally adopted by the military, hence the name 1907 military sling, um, with you or for use with the M1903 rifle, the 03 Springfield. It was used by the military up into the 1940s where eventually it was replaced by a, a sling made with a canvas web material or a canvas web mesh. Um, but still, particularly for competitive rifle shooters, the leather model 1907 sling is still pretty much the most common sling in use. You'll see some people out there with the web slings periodically, uh, but the model 1907 sling gives you a little bit more adjustability and generally it's a little bit more desirable for competitive purposes, at least for high power rifle shooting. I'm going to be attaching for demonstration purposes the sling to my newly purchased Springfield Armory M1A Super Match rifle. Look for a re review coming on this very soon, but for now, before I can shoot it, before I can review it, I need to attach the sling. Now I have a little bit of an ulterior motive here. Um, I don't do sling attachments to my rifles very often. Once, maybe twice a year, I'll be attaching a, a sling to a new rifle. And whenever I do it, I have to refer back to a book in order to remember how to do it. So what I'm going to do is make this video so in the future I can look at the video and assemble my sling as opposed to trying to read the book and do it. Uh, and also, in the interest of full disclosure, in between the takes of this video, I'm going to be looking at the book and then I'll be demonstrating what it shows or how it shows to install the sling as I go. If you're an old hand at this, you can do it with your eyes closed. You can probably stop the video now because it's not going to do you any good. If you're like me and you got to look to something or use something for a re reference every time you do it, then stay tuned and we'll do this together. One last thing, I'm going to be attaching the sling based on the uh, method used by Master Sergeant Jim Owens and outlined his book is the one that I use to reference to see how to do this. Uh, there are other ways to attach the sling. I like the way he demonstrates in the book. It's the way I've set up the slings on my other rifles and for me it works pretty well. So again if you have learned another way to do it or you prefer a different way you can tune out now because you're not going to learn anything from this. If not, stay tuned and when I get all done I'll show you how the sling looks when it's all attached to the rifle and how it's going to work when you sling up you can actually use it for a shooting aid. Before we start to attach the sling let's look at its basic components and see what they are and try to get some reference points to identify how it is we're going to attach the sling to the rifle. There are four parts to your 1907 military sling. There is a long strap that has a rough side and a smooth side it also has metal hooks called a frog at one end. There's nothing at the other end. There is a short strap, also has a rough side and a smooth side. It has a frog or the metal hooks at one end and it has a D-ring at the other end. The last two parts you have are two keepers, sling keepers. They're just basically loops of leather that are sewn together that we're going to eventually use to hold this all together and when you have the sling attached to the rifle this is what's going to, once you, you tighten the sling down, this is what's going to hold it in place, your keepers. Another quick point about the frogs and the way they're positioned on the two different straps. The points of the frog always point toward the rough side of your sling. So if you lay them with the points facing down you will always have the smooth side of your sling facing up. The first step to assembling our sling is going to be to lay out the pieces properly. What I have done is put the short strap with the hooks facing down and the frog to the left and the D-ring to the right in a space slightly to my left. I've put the two keepers stitching down directly to the right of the D-ring and I've placed the long strap with the hooks facing up, meaning the rough portion is facing up, just in front of the other three pieces of the sling. This is the way we're going to lay it out to begin to assemble our sling. Okay, for our next step, we are going to take our two keepers and slide them onto the long strap. Again, the long strap has the rough surface facing up, 
the hooks are facing up and they are to the left or excuse me they are to the right of us as we're looking at it we're going to keep the stitches pointed down and slide the keepers on about halfway through this series of hooks or excuse me this series of holes that are closest to the hooks and this is going to be the position that we're going to start to assemble our sling from at this point we're going to take the end of the long strap that does not have the frog, the end that's just cut and rounded off, we're going to take our D-ring and turn it so it's pointed up and we are going to feed the long strap through it just like this. So now we've got the smooth side of the long strap facing up, we've got the smooth side of the short strap facing up, the long strap is going through the D-ring and wrapping back around and the keepers at this point are right here. Now we're going to feed this end, the rounded end, through our keepers just like this. They're going to fit fairly tightly, which is what you want them to do. And now once we get them on there, we're going to pull this through. You see now we've got some extra part of the long strap up here and eventually we're going to be able to hook this on to our rifle using this. Okay, it's time to start to actually attach the sling to our rifle. I'm going to take my rifle and stand it up on its butt. Here's my front sling swivel right here. I'm going to take the long portion of my sling and notice as I hold this up the frog or the hooks are closest to the stock and the part without the hooks is going to come around and right down through here. And I want to pull it down just about to the trigger guard of my rifle. I'll probably use a little bit more. There we go. And now I'm just going to pick a set of holes and attach the frog and I now have the front portion of my sling attached to the rifle. Next, we are going to take the short strap. The hooks, if I pull the sling straight out from the rifle, should be pointing down. And we are going to feed those through the lower sling swivel and bring them up and attach them to one of the sets of holes in the long strap. And the holes are kind of tight here, so it'll take me a moment to get them in there. There we go. And our sling is now attached to the rifle. Now that we've attached our sling to the rifle, let's take a look at how the sling is used when you want to use it for a shooting aid. The first thing I'm going to do is detach the top frog And normally what I do is fold it over and attach it in some of the holes down here closest to the rear sling swivel just so it's not flopping around. Some people don't do that. Some people leave it detached from the bottom. Notice where our keepers are now. I'm going to slide them up slightly and actually I'm going to need to move this inner portion of the uh, long strap out of the way. And I'm going to make a loop with this part of the sling right here. When I put the loop on my non-shooting arm, I give it one quarter of a turn outboard, one quarter of a turn away from me, and I insert my arm as far in as it will go. Now I can grab the inner portion of my long strap and I can pull it to tighten this loop down and get a good tight grip on my upper arm. When I place my hand inside the sling, it goes over the sling and under the forestock of the rifle. And notice how it comes around my hand and comes back up. And when I get into a shooting position, the sling is now supporting the weight of the rifle. I really am not using any muscles in my left arm at all to support the weight of the rifle. It's all being supported by the sling.
and I can support it very well and use this to shoot very steadily from either a prone or a sitting position. To release the sling, all you do is grab the outside portion and pull up and that'll loosen the loop around your arm and you can remove it. So there you have it. We've attached our 1907 military sling to my new uh, Springfield Armory M1A Super Match. Next stop is going to be to the range to give this rifle a ringing out and see what kind of performance we can get out of it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those below. And until next time, good shooting. Bye-bye.